knocking over the um, pitchfork. Anyhow, that was he partially rolling. I just put some new bedding down. Here we are lounging with Lisa at Ears Acres. Take note, he's in a necklace. That's what I'm calling it now. Uh, Haw's in a necklace, and so is Stanley, and he's in the famous halter that should not be used on mules and donkeys. We went over this last time. Uh, here's the deal. Here's my doorway to keep he out of the out of the um, tack room. I just use this. I'll come out and give you an update on everything. First of all, there she is, Miss Edna. $595.75 later. Anyhow, she had some a little bit of body work that needed done, and they did it there. And um, her brakes, the labor was, you know, pretty. You know how that is. Labor is the most expensive thing. So anyhow, she's done. But I, I've been saving money for this. Because, you know, Edna's a 2002, and she has 247,000 miles on her. And I really wasn't sure what was going to happen this year. You know what I'm saying? So I was ready to have total body work done or whatever. So I've just been putting money away. And um, so therefore I could pay for it, which was, I feel very fortunate in that area. I try to talk about things for which I'm grateful these days instead of always, you know, moaning about something. So another thing for which I'm grateful is the fact that um, the small donkey, he, back in the corner, and the mule here, Stanley, have kept their necklaces on since uh, Monday, whenever I had to reapply them. Bad news is, Houdini here, we're going to start calling him Houdini, because he's the one who always escapes and everything. His is off every day. Now, I decided to come down here in the morning today, too, because we had a storm last night, and I wanted to see if there was any damage, you know, check out the sitch, because I lost power here at Ears Acres last night, and I went home, and it was a pretty severe storm that blew over. Mick did a video about people kind of freaking out over it, if you want to check that out. It was done on Thursday, I think. At any rate, um, so I decided I better come down and check here in the morning. And, of course, he was naked. Haw was naked. This one, his name's Haw, was naked. Everybody else, these two were wearing their necklaces with pride and joy. I always find it, though, because of the fact that they're in the smaller area right now. So that's good news. Um, I would kind of like to turn them out to the bigger area after. Oh, I think this might even could be what happens is he scratches and it just pops out. But anyhow, um, I'd like to let him out into the bigger area after the blacksmith appointment. And I might just take his off entirely because these guys, it looks like they're going to keep theirs on. And um, I can just, he, this donkey here, huh, is the absolute best with fly spray. He stands totally still. Coming behind you, Stanley, like a statue, of, as, as I've mentioned before. So, anyhow, here's the rolling area. This is what he was running into here. Poor little fella. He wanted to roll all the while. You can roll some more. So, um, I don't have much else to report. My brother's in town. I don't know if I mentioned that. But he is in town. And um, I guess that's really all I'm, I have to report. Um... I'll, I'll pause and think of something. You know how I can't. I must bloviate. These guys were tickled to see me this morning. Um, Stanley came whipping around and was just all delighted because I normally just come down at night. Last summer, I came down morning and night. And then I cut down. And even in the winter, I think. Well, in the winter, for sure, I cut down to one just once. So, um... Yeah, they were all delighted and tickled and whatnot. But I also want to get him used to, like, I don't know when the blacksmith's coming. He's going to get with me with the time. So I don't know for sure. So I kind of want to get him used to having a snack at a certain, at whenever. And um, as you know, I'm tying Stanley up just because. With a halter that should not be used on mules and donkeys. And like I said, I was over this in the last video. And when I do his little routine in a little bit, I take Stanley, we do a little routine together. Um, I use the rope halter. I take that one off of him. So, there you have it. So, if there's any mule and donkey people watching, don't panic. It's just the blacksmith wanted me to get one of those, so I did. Okay, look, I'm boring myself. It's five minutes into this. I'm delighted to have Edna back. Oh, I have something fun to tell you, actually. There's the Geesingtons. Um, Spencer, my son, Spencer Blaine Boyd the third. No, I'm kidding. It sounds good, though. 
he is going to be coming to the diner with me on Monday and opening and like learning the ropes there in case we need a um, a fill-in waiter because we Katie is our fill-in waitress. She works Fridays right now with Amy, but her photography business is really taking off. She won the contest like that the Meadville Tribune puts out for the best everything, like the best bistro, the best photographer, the best boutique, the best diner, you know, all that stuff. And she was the photog winner. And she's been swamped ever since, so it's nice to have another backup. And Spencer talked to Amy about it, like when she first got the place. And um, she was kind of swamped then and said, well, let's, you know, give it some time. And now we are. Time's up. And so he'll be in. He'll be a waiter, I'm so sure. Just like I said, fill in, whatever, because he works at uh, that voodoo brewery. Say that three times fast in Meadville. Okay, I'm done. I'm not done. My friend Laura came in. Uh, to the diner today, I went down there in my barn clothes. I had to turn on paperwork for Amy. And um, she brought in these uh, body lotions, or body uh, butter that she makes. She lives in the Carolinas, and she can't ship them uh, during the summer months because they'll, like, melt in the mail. Uh, it's Laura Mushrush, for those locals who are viewing this. And she does a great job with it, and she gave me spray. Gave them to me for free. I live for her, so hats off to Laura. Thank you. If you happen to be watching this very boring video about equine, I know how much you live for equine. Um, yeah, then you'll you'll get your thank you. Okay, I guess I'm done, ladies and germs. I'll give Stanley a treat. Stanley, I found a carrot in my pocket. Here, hon. There it is. Yeah, little fella. Look at him. Just look at him. Okay, well, I'm going to put on his rope halter and take him around and do things. So, I'm over and out here on Lounging with Lisa. I'm not going to do my closing. Video is long enough, darn it. Okay, over and out. Bye.